to me it looks like a privy. Unbelievable. It's a symbol. I have found more in the last 10 minutes than I did in the first two hours just by getting lucky and spotting that little dip, rock, and pile. Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Metal Detecting Knot Thursday in New Hampshire. So this site here, you see this wonderful lip? That is where a big colonial home sat back in the 1700s. I found this site three and a half years ago, and it's taken me that long to get back. Now the thing is, when I was here, I combed the entire, you know, immediate area around the cellar hole and I didn't find all that much. And that's one of the important reasons why I come back to these sites. It's gotta be stuff here. Now it's very quiet. The key thing is that this site is not mapped in the 1858 map. So it's an early abandonment and it's been a long time since anybody's lived here. Probably 200 years. Very well built up, nice lip. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can find today. So even right around where the house sat, there's not a heavy iron floor, which is interesting on its own. Uh, there's an iron signal. So, not that I would have been selective in the past, but... I do remember it was early spring and I didn't spend too much time here. All the reasons to come back. In fact, iron, looks like a leg. So, one piece of old stuff out of the ground. I think it's a copper plated bullet by the squeak and the numbers, but hopefully I'm wrong. Yep. At least I didn't get excited for nothing. I had a feeling. Well, let's just hope there's not another 50 of them around here. 4850. Well, let's hope this one's not a shotgun shell. Oh no, it is a button. And it's Tom back. So that just made the trip back worth it. Find anything, I'm happy. There you go. Typical tomback. A little bit of fingernail scraping and you have beauty. Whatever it is, is huge. Iron, can't even move it. Holy crap. All right, that happens. Well, this just took forever to get out of the ground with that root nonsense. It's just a big chunk of iron. Weirdness. Well, I've just spent the better part of an hour. I went up into the backfield, which is beautiful. And nothing but... That was a shotgun shell. Impacted bullet. It's a shotgun shell. A newer one. Six inches deep. Yeah, the usual. Lots of ammo. These sights puzzle me. It's not like it's been hit. And... There's just no good signals left. There's barely any signals. It's not one of these silent sites because there's a little bit of iron around him. Found a button, but there's just something different about them. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start heading out a different way. I wanna see, I've never seen a barn site here and just see what the other squares hold. Acorns are dropping already, kind of early. 
and uh, we'll see what happens. Well, I can't believe how quiet it is up here. You would think, with all this rock tossing inside this small square, somebody would have dropped something at some point in time. Just nothing. There's proper breaks and entrances into the other squares. Uh, plenty of work going on back then. Just quiet. Well, it might be another one of them bullets. But we'll try it. As I make my way down the hill here by the wall, I found something interesting, which I'm going to show you. I was going to show you, and I swung over this. No. It's a debuckle. Huh. Yay, an old relic. It's not a bullet. Well, that's interesting considering where I'm at. Where'd you go? All right, let me show you what I found over here. I know slight depth isn't always easy to see on camera, but this right here drops down rock grown soil and a little bit of iron. To me it looks like a privy. Wouldn't be a well, it's just it's not lipped enough and it doesn't appear to be completely rock lined. But there's this like stepping stone, the hole, thrown soil and a bit of iron. I just found that debuckle and I am pretty far down from the house so it's a possibility. Interesting something happened here it's not uh, it's not natural and a small piece of flashing right before the debuckle so I don't know. Let's see if there's anything else right here in the pit. Button. I think that's what we stumbled on. Beautiful. And... Oh. It's bone backed. There's the face. Oh, it's shiny. All right. Turn it over. Look at that. How beautiful is that? We don't find those too often. So it'll be a sew-on button. Got a little bit of plating left. And a bone back. That's why we walk around for hours looking for little oddities like this. Hmm. Oh, I'm grateful for that. Wow, another button. Boy, I got lucky, huh? Yeah, it's Tom back. Very nice. Broken shank, that's all right.
beautiful. Unbelievable. It's a symbol. I have found more in the last 10 minutes than I did in the first two hours just by getting lucky and spotting that little dip, rock, and pile. Wow. Well, that's it, everybody. Just goes to show you, persistence pays off. Glad I came back. I only got the one button out of the cellar hole, but it just goes to show you, boots on the ground is how it happens. I walked around for a long time, and it wasn't until I looped the outer fields, following that stone wall, and saw the signs of something that people did. And that's what you gotta do. You gotta look for things that just do not fit the rest of the picture. And I dug more in the last 10 minutes than I did the first two hours, so. That was quite rewarding. I guess I will have to come back here again at some point and recheck the area. That's what I do. You go do the same thing and I'll see you next time. Till then, enjoy your not Thursday. Mm -hmm.